Hey guys, my name is Rubishan. In today's video, I'm going to be basically showing you how to use Anki. So what you want to do is go onto the Anki web store, um, not the store, sorry, just type in Anki download um, onto Google and it should come up with um, this. And you want to click on apps, this website here and click the download button. Uh, you can either download it for Windows, Mac, Linux, iPhone, whatever. Um, I do it for Mac because I do have a Mac. So once you um, have downloaded it. I'm just going to cancel the download because I already have it. Once you've downloaded it, go over and open the app. Now, um, what you want to do when you open it is please, 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 please create an account when it tells you to create an Anki web account. It should tell you when you click the sync button um, just because you need to do this uh, because I did this during GCSEs. I forgot to create an account and my Mac broke and I lost all of my work. So please, please, please create an Anki account. This is what my Anki sort of looks like at the moment. I've got Latin, French, biology, English. This is my biology, which I don't use anymore. My English, my French. I'm just going to close all of this up so it's easier for you to view. So to use Anki, it's not that hard. It's pretty simple. Um, so what you want to do is create a deck. This is for a subject. This is like a subject you want to uh, study. For. for example, chemistry. I'm making chemistry here. Now, what you want to do, oh, what am I even doing here? Um, no, let's just keep chemistry there, get rid of custom study session. So uh, now what you want to do, uh, you've made your chemistry deck. Now what you want to do is create a new deck with all of the components in your, in your subject, for example, organic chemistry, and drag it into chemistry or for example, physical chemistry. Once you've created physical chemistry, you drag it into chemistry again. And then let's say maybe titrations or any topic um, that is covered in your syllabus, drag it into chemistry. Now, once you click the plus um, button, these will, will come up. All of your topics will come up um, under chemistry. Now, if you click a topic, you can now add flashcards, which is what I'm going to do now. So the type of flashcards you can add is either a basic and reverse card, which is as follows. For example, what is a um, what is a, a hydrocarbon? Um, and then the answer you write on the back. It is an element with uh, what is it made up of hydrogen and carbon only. And then you'd click add, um, and then it will sort of look like. Um, it will look like this on your thing. So it will stick, click, click study now and it will give you the answer. You can click study now um, and so on. You'd basically just have to review it until it tells you to stop. Uh, for example, if you click hard, it will tell you to do it again until you've learned it. Another way of creating flashcards is using the close function. So this is when you uh, actually write the answer in the text. You don't need to use the back. You just use the text area. So you say a hydrogen, a hydrocarbon is an element made up of uh, hydrogen, uh, carbon, uh, hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen and carbon only. Now, what you want to do here is command shift C or control shift C if you're on Windows. Um, each uh, thing you want to cover up um, so for example here I've got three things because only is a mark and it will look something like this if I click study now it will tell me to sort of answer each one for example a hydrocarbon is made up of uh, hydrogen and then carbon and then only it will look something like this this is so so useful because you can basically just copy out chunks of your textbook and basically use this close feature um, so honestly, Anki is absolutely amazing if you if you like if you like to work with uh, flashcards, etc. Um, so I don't use chemistry. Uh, I use biology. Well, I did use biology. Here are some of my flashcards that I've created. Um, so yeah, if we study that now, um, this is me studying the whole of the biology because I clicked biology. Uh, for example, this is coming up with everything in biology and. If I just go into biology and click a specific topic, for example, microscopes, I can study microscopes um, here with the close function. Um, sometimes it says this because I did it wrong. Um, or if I learn about carbohydrates, it, it allows me to do this. It's trust me, it's not hard and it's so, so good, uh, especially for active recall. Now, uh, I'm just going to get rid of chemistry because I don't do chemistry and um, I do Latin. So it's so good uh, for vocab, for French, Latin, um, because I, I can learn all of my all of my bits of vocab, which is so, so useful because on, on Quizlet, yeah, it's good, but it doesn't implement the technique of spaced repetition. Quizlet doesn't, 
tell you when you need to revise or what you need to revise at a specific time whereas Anki does and it is absolutely amazing because I don't even know Anki saved my GCSEs it helped me it helped me memorize so so much um it was literally a lifesaver um so again make sure you sync your sync your flashcards because i didn't do that and i lost all of my flashcards which was so annoying now for everybody that uses quizlet and you guys want to move to anki you can actually you can actually move your flashcards for example for my vocab you go onto your quizlet vocab and then what you want to do um is well, i'm just going to wait for it to load you want to click the three dots there and then you click export and then what you want to do is um, between the term and definition you want to use a sort of custom thing i use a uh, hyphen and then click copy text now what you want to do is go to text edit on your mac or i don't even know what it is on windows click a new document paste all of the vocab in there and then what you want to do is click uh, make plain text click ok um, save it as something um yeah save it as something i just save it as french vocab and then um, go into anki click import file um then what you want to do is search for french vocab on whatever you've saved it as uh click open and then what you want to do is field separated by hyphen what you put it on 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 quizlet and you want to change your deck name uh, i'm going to change it uh where I'm, uh, click add um, create a new deck name um i'm just going to change it to uh what should i change it to i'm going to change it to uh french vocabulary or french vocab yeah french vocabulary click ok and uh, click import so cl i click close um and then uh, click it click french vocabulary click study now oh i did it wrong because i put accidentally put it as the close function so i have to go back delete that deck this is annoying so create a deck uh, sorry, sorry import a file um click french vocab make sure that it's basic and reverse card uh, click uh, click the hyphen make sure it's basic and reverse card not close like it was before um now i want to move it into a different deck uh, oh why did i click close i'm i'm a bit stupid click french vocab open um default i want to add a new deck uh click add and then click french vocab and then click ok click um can do the hyphen and then import it uh, make sure it's basically reversed import close now once you've done that um you can now start studying it comes up with everything it's all imported from Anka, from quizlet to anki it's an absolute lifesaver um and i'd really really recommend it uh, much much better than Anki. Now the thing at the bottom, uh, what I have over here, uh, if you can see, this is a heat uh, a heat map diagram. It tells me how many cards I've learned. Now you can get this from uh, the website. Just click Anki heat map add on. Um, just click review heat map and uh, what you want to do is just paste this code and just follow the instructions and it will uh, and it will basically download it onto your Anki. It will probably ask you to restart your Anki app but honestly it's so good especially for tracking your progress but yeah that's the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys have found it useful uh, but yeah have a great day guys. See you soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. It would mean a lot if you guys could go subscribe. Bye!